because I'm a stud. I'm ballsy. I don't take no shit from anyone. I smoke my stogie with ash holes. I don't have to find a hideout place like you. <laughs> Hello everybody. So, today is something interesting, something out of the ordinary. I will not be reviewing anything out of the humidor. I'm actually going to review. And drum roll please. One of my own hand rolls. <laughs> Boom. I don't, when I roll them, I don't particularly name them. Um, but I guess this will be called the Brooklyn art, right? Because I'm from Brooklyn. And this is uh, a work of art. As far as this bad boy goes, we have a Brazilian Ariparaca wrapper, a Nicaraguan binder, and this is the interesting part, a Sumatra and Cameroon filler. So the fillers from Africa and Asia, the binders from Nicaragua. Uh, smells, the wrapper smells very sweet. This is a Maduro, it's very dark, so I'm not surprised it has that fermented sweet smell. The fillers actually doesn't have that much scent, surprisingly. But what is there is also, as you can as you can see, this one's a little bit, a little bit lumpy. You know, it doesn't have the perfect shape, right? Um, I, I, when I roll them, I don't use molds, I do them all by hand, and I am an amateur. So, you know, they're not perfect, but they pull well. Oh, very nutty. Oh, very sweet. Super surprised. I'd expect more pepper. So, a couple of things. Number one, I didn't put in enough light tobacco. So, both the Sumatra and the Cameroon are more like a seco. It's more of like a medium leaf. And the uh, problem with that is uh, it, 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 it doesn't keep lit as well as it should. Okay. Also, uh, the cigar is fairly fresh. I only rolled it about three, three days, three, four days ago. So I should have definitely let it sit before I lit it. I'm an impatient asshole, though. Um, so uh, you know that's 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 probably what I didn't do. I should have probably ordered some more Velados, some more lighter tobaccos. Included that, maybe some shade tobaccos, and then on top of that, I should have probably let it sit for at least another four months. Tobacco hasn't had time to sit. It's not uh, exactly uh, that mellow, right? It's a lot more sharper, so there's a little bit bitterness coming through. Uh, but on the bright side, there's a new technique that I tried with this that I'm really happy with. Uh, something that I'm doing differently uh, that I haven't tried before is I heard that some blenders, what they do is instead of taking out the whole stem from, why is it so fucking dark? Taking out the whole stem from the leaf, what they do is they leave half the stem of the filler on, and that's supposed to add more flavor. And I gotta say, that's not for the case. But with that flavor, also it does come with a little more bitterness. But I feel like that will even out if I let it sit more. Uh, now you may be asking yourself, Artie, why the fuck are you reviewing a cigar that's not ready to be smoked? And I'll tell you why. I hit on a really nice blend that I'm really happy with. I need to uh, uh, work on the proportions. So I'm gonna be smoking a couple of these that are not ready uh, until I find a good proportion of tobaccos. Like for instance, this time I learned that I need more lighter tobacco. When I have that blend all ready to go, what I'm gonna do is mass produce maybe uh, 100 of them. I have about six different styles that I'm gonna be smoking. And I thought if I'm gonna be smoking through them, why not review one? That's just about it. Now, as far as flavor goes, it's exactly as expected. Very, very earthy, earthy smoke. The earthiness is because the Sumatra that I put in, which is about 60% of the filler, is very earthy tobacco because it's grown in volcanic soil. Volcanic soil equals earthy. So like I said, it's very earthy, all right? It's very leathery. And also, it's actually tasting better and better. I wasn't a fan at first. I thought I put too much Sumatra, but the earthiness is actually really kicking ass. I gotta say, uh, I'm very happy with this blend. It's working out really, really well. In the beginning, didn't have much hope. I thought it was gonna be trash. Definitely not trash. Very sweet, very leathery. After note of earthiness, uh, and that's to be expected. The sweetness is coming from the nice uh, fermented Ariparaca Brazilian wrapper. Um, you'll find that when you're smoking the Amazonian Basin as well. That's where the sweetness comes from. The earthiness, like I mentioned before, is from this, uh, the binder and the Sumatra, which is grown in volcanic soil. It's nice when you can see how each tobacco affects this cigar, and I think this one uh, pretty much has everything I intended. And it all blended pretty well. Like I said, the one thing that I have a problem with is that I need to add a little bit more of the light tobacco so it burns better and stays lit. That's it. 
the earthiness is definitely backed up a little bit. Uh, it's definitely gotten way more leathery now. Surprisingly, I thought it would be way too spicy. I wouldn't be enjoying it, but this is fucking great. Uh, I'm gonna roll maybe at least 80 more of these. I have enough tobacco for about 80. If I roll them, I'm gonna age them. This one is too fresh. I cannot wait to see what they taste like after about two or three, maybe six months. Six months in the humidor aging. And then I'm also gonna make a batch that's gonna have some volato, some lighter tobacco. Like a special edition, you know what I mean? Like I may probably make it box press and probably make it have a little bit more lighter tobacco and see what that does. Age those for an extra long time and keep those as like my special already only stash, you know? Oops, sorry, said my real name. Sorry for just sucking my own ego's dick right now, but what a grand smoke. It it does have its obvious flaws, but as far as flavor goes, I'm extremely happy. So, I have enough tobacco for about 100 cigars. All right. I'm going to roll a bunch, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have some kind of contest. I don't know what it is. I'll think about it, and the person that wins the contest, I'll just send me a picture of your ID that you're over 21. I'll send you some cigars as a surprise. The ones that I want to kind of send out as gifts uh, are probably going to be, uh, it's going to take some time because I want to age them, all right? And um, so look out for it in a couple of months. But like I said, get excited. It's a great smoke, and I can't wait to send it to one of you. I love cigars. Blah, blah, blah.